Hi, Lavinia. How was your day today? Thank God, Dad. It was a beautiful day. Are you ready to hear a new story? Sure, Dad. I was waiting for it. Which story are you going to tell me tonight? Tonight, I will tell you a story of a saint who we all love and ask for her intercession. And we call her the Mother of God. Is it Saint Mary? Good guess, my dear. That's right. Oh, Dad, I love Saint Mary and want to know more about her. OK, Lavinia, I'll tell you the story. In a town of Nazareth, a man lived there. His name was Joachim and his wife's name was Anna. Thank you, dear Lord, for everything you give to us. And thank you for letting us be your children. I know, Lord, that you always give us what is good for our lives and that you know all our needs. You know that I really want to have a child. But let it be your will and not mine. I promise you, God, that if you give us a child, I will send him to the temple to serve you and be your servant. I trust you love us and I will always be happy with what you chose for us. Amen. And while Joachim was praying to God, an angel appeared to him and told him very happy news. Peace to you, Joachim. I am Gabriel, the angel of God. God heard the prayers of Anna and yours and sent me today to tell you that you will have a baby girl and she will be called Mary. Anna, Anna, God heard our prayers. We will have a baby. An angel appeared to me and told me that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything you give to us. Anna had a daughter. The newborn child was given the name of Mary. When Mary became three years old, her parents prepared themselves to carry out their promise to God. They took her to the temple in Jerusalem to serve God. Mary was left to stay at the temple. One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Alleluia. Mary lived in the temple and was serving there until she was 12 years old. She was very kind and helpful to everyone. One day while Mary was praying, a strange thing happened. What is it, Dad? Archangel Gabriel appeared to Mary and announced to her that Jesus Christ will be born from her and said, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Behold the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. Having learned from the angel that her relative Elizabeth is pregnant, she travelled to her as Elizabeth was an old woman, and Mary wanted to serve her till she gives birth. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth, all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. St. Mary gave birth to our Lord Jesus Christ, and she took care of him as a baby and a child. She knew all that was written about Jesus and her in the prophecies, but she kept all these things in her heart. We always knew St. Mary was a great intercessor for the humankind. Did you know that the first miracle that Jesus did was through her intercession? Really? And how was that? It was at Cana of Galilee wedding. They have no wine. Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. Whatever he says to do, you do it. Mary was also with Jesus Christ at all times, and on the day of his crucifixion, she was beside the cross with St. John. Woman, behold your son, behold your mother. After this, St. John took St. Mary to live at his house, and he was looking after her. 
At the time of St. Mary's departure, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, surrounded by angels, appeared and received her most pure soul. Our Coptic Church knows how strong is the intercession of St. Mary, and that's why we always honour her and turn to her for help. Oh, Dad, I really love St. Mary and will always ask for her intercession and blessings. We should all learn from St. Mary's life and how to live as a true Christian, following God by all our hearts. She is truly the heavenly mother of us all. May her blessings be with us all. Amen. Tomorrow will be time for another story. Can't wait for this. Good night, Dad. Good night, Lavinia.